Bobby Beats. All right. Hey there, guys. Um, we are at HEB, as you saw. Got a new video coming out. Um, you know, feeling good about it. This is French onion soup. It's a good hearty soup. It's, you know, it's a soup that, I mean, I've said it a million times, it can really get you through the winter. So, here's the deal. I'm trying to get a piece of content out on this feed every week. Just one piece of content every week. I think I can do it. I, whether it's a post or like a live stream or something like that, right? So what I'm thinking I'll do is I am just gonna, I wanna get to the store, you know? I want, we're here at HEB. We're making this French onion soup. We're gonna make our own beef broth. So we're gonna get the ingredients and we're gonna kinda, kinda go beyond the kitchen, right? Kinda see what goes into my thought process of when I'm trying to buy some of these ingredients. So yeah, we're gonna go in HEB for a minute and we're gonna get some of this stuff. So, okay. Okay, so yeah, we're here. Okay. okay, so we're here at HEB. And yeah, they tons of meat selection. So I went ahead and I got some oxtail. These are gonna have nice bones. I got some beef short rib. Again, nice amount of bone on these. And I got these uh, neck bones. So these will be good enough to make a nice bone broth. And then obviously I just have the standard pear, carrot, celery, onion, garlic, thyme, just regular things to make a beef broth. So cool. Let's, uh, on. So, I took those beef brones and put them on a pan here. I got my oven at 400. So, these are just several different types of bone. I got some oxtail bone right here. I got some neck bone, and I've got some short rib in this bad boy. So, what these bones are going to do is they are going to uh, roast these in the oven. That's going to release a lot of their flavor. I tried to get bones with not too much meat on them and mainly bone this short rib isn't a good example but i tried to get a bunch of different types because i think that's going to make a nicer flavor profile so yeah i'm going to roast these up for about 45 minutes and then we'll get started on our stock all right so went ahead and roasted these beef bones so we have a ton of a ton of bones here look at all the bones we got out of this you can really see them after they're roasted so these are gonna be great i'm gonna add these to my stock pot here then i have some whole peppercorn some thyme and then some of these roasting veggies you know this is onion garlic celery i got a leek in here i got a carrot and this is just gonna make a incredible stew so our bulk broth i'm sorry so let's go ahead and do that all right guys if you're on this channel before you know the drill We've gotten everything into this stock pot, and now it's just low and slow for hours and hours, probably four hours. So, low and slow, here we go. I am gonna add two big bay leaves to this mix. So there we go. It's gonna be- God, I added two bay leaves into this mix too. So here we go. It's gonna be a great broth. It's gonna be really aromatic. I can already tell. Wow. So that stock is simmering. Let's change it down a little. That stock is simmering nicely and it's reducing nicely. See, it was damn near full. So we're gonna let that keep going a couple of hours, a couple more hours. But in the meantime, we've got some other things to do. So we've got this aged gruyere. That's gonna be good for the soup later. But in the meantime, I cut the rinds off of this. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna to toss those right in my broth because they're gonna add a nice flavor to it. So I'm just gonna to toss those rinds into my broth. The beautiful part of a broth is that you can really put whatever kind of scraps you have into it and it'll work, right? It's just a combination. It's, it's it's greater than the sum of its parts. So, anyway, back to business. Wouldn't be French onion soup without onions. We got some chopping. Okay, so I'm slicing these onions. I want these kind of strands like this here. Like this is what I'm looking for, strands like that. So basically what I'm doing with the onion, I'm quartering it here, and then I'm cutting along this side, kind of like that, so I can create these nice natural strands here. 
And then obviously I'm gonna caramelize those. So I got about five. These are yellow onions. So I already did one. I got my second here and I got three more to go. So let me finish chopping those up real quick. So our broth is still going here. I've got my onions all sliced. It looks like a lot of onions because it is a lot of onions, but we are gonna cook them in this pan here with just a little bit of oil. We're gonna caramelize these and they are gonna really reduce in size and our broth should be close to done by the time these are all caramelized and we should be able to kind of start assembling this soup. So let me go ahead and start to caramelize these. Okay, so everything is coming along pretty nice. Our broth is getting there. Still needs to brown a little bit. But we're getting close. And then our onions are really starting to brown up pretty nice. So we're gonna just keep cooking. I, I killed the heat on these, kind of let them sit. I wanna cook them low and slow at this point because they're pretty well browned, but I don't wanna burn them. So yeah, that's it. We'll check in a little bit. So I went ahead and grated down that Gruyere cheese block. So went ahead and did that. I don't need it yet, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Now we're gonna work on our bread. So I got this French baguette, gonna cut this into thin slices. We're still making some progress here. Our broth is boiling down, our onions are starting to get nicely caramelized. I'm gonna throw the oven on to 400 so we can toast our bread. So let me work Okay, a lot going on here. Wild <laughs> OT win for Tampa, that was insane. But anyway, we got a lot going on here. We got our, our baguette. So I just cut those up, season them with salt and pepper. They're just gonna go into this 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Our broth is done. I'm gonna strain that off. Our onions are just about done. So what I'm doing now is just got some fresh minced garlic and some of that fresh thyme. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that into this mix here. So that's in there now. Got some of this cooking sherry wine that I'm gonna add to deglaze the pan and the bottom. I'm gonna crank the heat up on this, give this a stir, I'm gonna drain my broth off, and then I should be ready to assemble soon. So let me get doing that. So this is cooking up nice. I added some of that sherry, and I added some white wine. I added a couple tablespoons of flour to kind of thicken this mixture up. So then, what I'm gonna do is just cook off this alcohol, let this stick in, and then I'm gonna strain off my broth and hit it in that. So next time I come in, we'll have a completed rudimentary soup here. So let me okay, do that. So this soup right now is at a bare simmer. I just seasoned it up with some salt, some black pepper, some white pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce. So it's looking good. Right now I'm just giving it a simmer just to give everyone one last chance to get to know each other, you know? You wanna work with people you know, right? You don't wanna just work with strangers. Oh. So now what I'm doing is my French baguettes are toasted. So what I'm gonna do is, honey, we're watching the Bears game, so I don't even know right. why you're even entertaining putting that on. But anyway, um, we're gonna take these baguettes and we're just gonna grate this garlic clove onto them just to give it a little hint to the tiniest kiss of garlic. And you know, with French onion, it's kind of just the little things, they add up. So let me do that. And then I got my grated Gruyere cheese over here and we're gonna start assembling. So let All me right, get I grated ready. that garlic onto that bread. The first ever cooking with Chevron, Chris Collinsworth slide in. Come on, come on bears, we need it. Come on, we need the French onion gods to give us a good... Oh, here it comes. All right, that's a good sign. It's a good sign for the bears. Anyway, back to this. See how I grated the whole clove of garlic on there? When the bread is warm like that, the garlic just kind of melts into it. So yeah, this bread is ready to go and we are gonna go ahead and start assembling. Okay, so I got these little mini serving Dutch ovens. So what I did was I loaded them up with that soup. I layered my garlic infused baguette on top and then my grated Gruyere cheese on top of each of these. So these are just gonna go in a broil just to get that cheese nice and browned and then this is ready. So here we go. This is a very delicate art. There's varying opinions on how much you want your cheese to be uh, scorched. 
I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Hope it pays off. I am not. Okay, so I went ahead and took those out. Maybe a little bit more scorched, but my fiance wanted them out. And you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. So I went ahead and took them out. So we're just gonna let those cool for a little bit. Then we'll serve them up. It's my French onion soup. I just served this in its little uh, Dutch oven with the lid. And there it is. It's nice. It's got that bread. It's got the cheese in it. Let's see. It's going to be really hot, but I'll give it a taste here in a sec. Here we go. Got my fiance trying it. The French onion. That, that is stupid good. It's good? It's so effing good. That's a classic French onion. Man. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't, it, it sucks you have to melt a whole Get it to have a good crust. Oh but my god, it's so good. Well good, glad you like, what'd you rate of this one? That cheese pole. Um, eight, six? Eight, six. Yeah, it's so good, babe. We'll take it. All right. So I hope you liked the uh, French onion soup. I had a little crazy eyes. So I'm going, going on. Sorry, I'm, you know, I'm excited. You know, it's halftime of the Bears game. They're winning right now. And yeah, it was just, you know, good Sunday of making this content. I know, I don't think I got enough cheese on it, but that whole block was like $13. So like, I'm not going to spend like, $25 on just cheese for the soup so it probably didn't have enough cheese on it but whatever it was still really good obviously Carrie loved it she rated it like eight and a half something like that so I'm pretty satisfied you know I think I, I got four pretty good soups that I can really hang my hat on so yeah uh Bears are winning at halftime let's see if they can close this out get a win here and yeah it's just Good to be making content. Again, I said I'm trying to make a video a week here on this, so maybe a video or a live or just something. I don't want this. I'm really busy these days, and I don't want this channel to die. So, yeah. Anyway, if I don't see you guys for the holidays, happy holidays. Maybe we'll see you sometime. Say, see you guys.